Hey everybody, this is Daxon here with Noxide.org. Um, this is video number four um, in the series of tutorials of how to use Autodesk 123D Design. Um, this one I just kind of discovered and was playing around trying to do something. Basically, let me go ahead and open it up here. <clears throat> it was a leash holder that uh, someone else had made. Um, and you're able to edit it. Got it from Thingiverse. Sorry, it's freezing up here a little bit. Oh, just froze on me. Let me pause and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I got it unfrozen. So basically, let me get up here to a good view. What it is, is it's a pug dog. But what it is, is it's a leash holder that you can mount to the wall and hold, you know, a few leashes or maybe you could even use it as like a key holder, I guess, or whatever else you want to use it for. Someone else made this and they had it up to be edited. Well, I had someone that was wanting one, and I want to make one for myself with different dogs. Um, I raise poodles, cocker spaniels, and cavaliers, so I'd want one of those dogs on here. And my friend um, was buying one for someone else, a uh, family member, and he wanted a Rottweiler on here. So I could probably use that for the example. But the whole reason for this tutorial is that this is already cut out in here, and I wanted to learn how I could fill that up and try to put a new image of a different dog in this spot right here so that's kind of what we're going to be doing I'm going to go ahead and import I'm going to use what I already made from him you can watch my other video I just uploaded um, about an hour ago of me actually printing this out um, let's see this should be it I think yep and there's the Rottweiler and I know it's really small but uh, it'll work here Alright, bear with me. This is how we're going to do this. Now see, if I, even if I scaled this up, which is what I was going to do to begin with, you know, made it pretty good size, and try to cover that up, no matter really how I put it, it wasn't going to cover up all the spaces. So that was going to be a problem. So what I needed to do first was fill in this area where it's cut out. So what we're going to do is what I just learned actually. Um, I actually kind of learned this just by playing around. This There may be other ways to do this, but this is how I'm going to show you, and this is the way I'm going to do it. But I basically took a cube, and what I'm going to do with the cube is go to our smart scale, and I want it big enough, oops, I want to make it big enough to where it'll cover up this hole, and we're going to flatten it down basically and merge it, if that makes sense. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so that should cover up the entire thing. Now I'm going to scale it down here. Maybe move it, move it just a little bit. Okay, so that should be covering the entire cutout. It looks like to me. You should be able to see that too. And it should also be flat. Nothing should be sticking up. It's completely flat. And now what we should be able to do, and this tool can be a little bit tricky to use, especially since I'm just figured it out, but it's up here, it's under the Combine tab, and we're going to click the Merge. We should be able to click this and that. Somehow or another there. Okay, it looks like it merged it, so let me just try to click on this. Nope, I didn't do it right. Let's try it again here. Like I said, it does take me a couple times. There it is. Okay, it's merged. You can see that line there. This is where it merged it together. But we should be good no matter where we click and drag. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I'll already have this itself up on my website. You can download so you don't have to do what I just went through just to save you a little bit of time and hassle. But I want to go ahead and put this on the video for... You know, maybe there's something else that you want to do something similar with, and that's how you do it. So now here is our Rottweiler. I should be able to... Let's go ahead and smart scale, and we're going to bring it up a little bit so we can see it easier. And it needs to be sized down just a little bit so it fits. Just like that. 
kind of center it wherever we want it to be. Okay, so that should be... That looks pretty decent. Now, you can print it out like that if you wanted it sticking up. Um, but if you can go look at my other print video as soon as I'm done here, you can see how when it's pulled down through, like, a, like it's sliced out of this piece, it looks quite a bit better, actually. In my opinion, you can do whatever you want, but... So we'll click this, and we should be able to come up here to the Construct and Extrude, maybe. Might not be the right one. Let's see if we can... For some reason, sometimes it kind of locks up and I have to open something else. And Let's see if it might be this Smart Scale here. Nope, that ain't it either. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause for a second and mess with it again. Like I said, I just learned this about an hour or so ago. Okay, so I was showing you the wrong tool. It's not the extrude. It's up here under the combine and go to subtract. You should be able to click on this part and then click the dog. And then I guess you click out here. And there, it cut it out. So now we have a nice, yeah, that looks pretty good looks decently centered but that's basically what I want to show in this video because I can think of quite a few times where you would want to be able to do something like this um, and also once again definitely check out that video where I printed off this exact thing it looks out pretty good when I, when I did get to the little hook parts I had to slow down the print speed a little bit because they were a little fragile my printer is the mono price select mini um, so I can only print this about four and a half inches long. So these turned out a little bit smaller than I would have liked. They might be just a little bit uh, fragile, but I think they'll work as long as, you know, unless it's like yanked off of them or something, which it will be just holding leashes, so they should be pretty light anyway. Um, and as always, please like my video, comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting out something new. Um, hopefully something you can learn or something cool or exciting or funny or whatever it may be <clears throat> excuse me subscribe to my channel also don't forget to check out my website www.noxad.org i post all my videos there lots of cool free stuff um like i said i'll have this here all three versions the one that's um, done with the rottweiler one that's filled up and then the first version or I may just put two but either way you'll have something you can work with and this video should show you you know how to get whatever you want and the one last thing here I want to open up is I did make another video about this but it's called like Selva 3D and basically I found an image of a Rottweiler and you add it here and it'll load for a second and it turned the Rottweiler um, silhouette into a 3D image that I then imported into 123D design and that gave me my dog um, to put on here so thanks for watching and I'll see you later